Thanks for checking out my Unbounce landing page tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to create a landing page with Unbounce, which is pretty straightforward. If you'd like to follow along and are already using Unbounce, you can use my link in the description for easier access. Or maybe you're just watching this to check out what Unbounce is all about. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my unique link in the description that not only gives you a free trial, but if you want to upgrade, you can get 20% off your first three months. Let's begin. So here we're going to be creating a page in terms of generating clicks. For this, maybe it's going to be a pre-sell page. Maybe if you're an affiliate marketer, maybe you just want to take traffic and send it elsewhere. That's what this is going to be helpful for. Right here, you can go to all your pages and then from there, create a new page and that's where I am now. So all in all, what we can do here is go to page type. Click through is what I'm looking for here, but just to kind of give you an idea of what they have coming soon, lead gen, sales page, resource download, webinar, online course, event product, consulting, and of course, a thank you page. I'm gonna go and click through right here. And there's gonna be some templates here as I scroll down, not a ton, but enough to help you get up and running. And ironically enough, I think the getting started one is going to be fantastic. It's plain, it's simple, and it's very flexible, allowing you to pretty much just kind of edit things around, change the colors and the branding, logos, pictures, video, if you wanna do that. So I'm gonna click there. What I'm gonna do is just give it a name. I'm gonna say unbounce landing page example, okay? And let's click on start with this template. All right, so in case you're not familiar with my tutorials, I've done so many when it comes to landing pages, and I usually do my favorite type of landing page, which is gonna be kind of like a pre-sell page. Very simple to do, so you can follow along with me. Now, at the top, since this is a landing page, this isn't gonna be like a home page on a website. This is gonna be an exclusive landing page, so we don't want any type of distractions as well. So like it says, insert your logo here. What you can do is click on this and click on backspace to get rid of this. I know it talks about using your logo. We can do that in another spot. Ideally say this is gonna be like, I'm gonna be promoting Unbounce, okay? Using Unbounce, talking about Unbounce to promote Unbounce, how meta. I don't want people seeing uh, like key benefits and clients and work I've done before. This is all about a one specific goal here, okay? And it's talking about Unbounce. So this is gonna be our primary heading. We want this on top. This is gonna be one of the most important aspects. So I talk about having your heading here. This text can be under here, that's perfect. I like to call that a little bit extra. So when you're thinking about whatever it is you are promoting or what you want your person to do, think of something that's gonna be attractive or something that they're going to be wanting, of course. So for this, we could say how to get an unbounce, if I spell it right, discount. I blame the mic, it's always in front of me, can't see, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and just stretch it out so it looks a little bit better. And there we go. So that's going to be like the main headline. And what we can do, we can also split test it. So the good thing about this, if you don't think this is going to do all that well, you can just make it a little bit better and split test it, which I'll show you how to do at the end. It's very simple. Okay. I'm going to make this bigger as well. Now, what I like to call this text is a little bit extra. So this can be, you know, a little bit more to get them say to watch a video because I love doing videos. As you can see here, I like using videos under it. If you don't have a YouTube video or a video you can embed, you can always just use text instead. So this is going to be the big thing here, and this is going to be a little bit extra. So I'm going to double click there. Here's how you can save. All right, so here's how you can save 20% in your first three months. So you're talking about getting a discount and then a little bit more about the specifics of it, okay? So we have a section here and this is where I like to use my video. Now we can browse around the Unbounce drag and drop builder. I like it because it is a true drag and drop builder. If you've ever used a drag and drop builder where maybe you place it somewhere and it kind of locks you into position, you can put this anywhere you want, even if it doesn't make sense, not that you'd want to do that. Now, the main sections over here, like we have a section, we have a box, we have text, images, buttons, light box button, we have a form, embed video, and a custom HTML. So in order to use this, what we want to do is just drag it and drop it right about here. Now, as you can see, it says embed a video. I'm going to show you how to do this using a YouTube video. It's pretty much going to be the same if you were using something else like Vimeo or Wistia, whatever it's going to be. All right, so here's a video where I talk about the unbounced pricing plans and the discount as well. So when you're on an actual YouTube video, what you wanna do is click on share, and then you wanna get the embed code. So I'm gonna copy all of this. I'm just gonna do control C. You know, you can do right click and copy as well. Let's go back over to the landing page editor. I'm just gonna paste this in control V for me and do save code. Now, as you can see, we're gonna have our video right here. So I'm probably gonna make it a little bit bigger. It says change the background color, insert an image. 
Uh, I'm not huge on doing fancy colors. You are free to do that. This is more about like what you need to put here and how you do it as opposed to the aesthetics. Usually when it comes to landing page design, you know, I'll let you worry about that. Otherwise I'd be here picking the perfect color for like, you know, three hours, which we don't want to do that. Right. So what we can also do, you're going to notice how we have different sections under it. So the companies that enjoy our offer, like if you want to put something like that, you can. It's really not going to be needed in my opinion. So when you click on it, it's going to highlight this big section and do backspace. And just like that, it's going to delete it. Now, there are going to be some sections in here that you might want to use, which is completely fine. So mission statement, once again, I'm going to delete this. Now for this, for example, key benefits, this could be a section that maybe you want to use that talks more about unbounce. So say like, let's make this a little bit longer, you know, landing pages. I'm just giving you an example about something that comes along with unbounce. So like a B split testing. And what I want to do is go like that. Obviously we would add images there, uh, key benefits, whatever else it's going to be, you know, you get the discount. There's a ton of benefits, just something off the top of my head, right? And a closing reminder for you. All right, unlock your free trial and discount today. Click the button below, dot, dot, dot. You notice how there's gonna be some notes here. Once again, we can just delete these. I wanna make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna show you how to kind of edit this if needed. Well, if needed, of course you're gonna to wanna to do that. So when you click on it right here, you're gonna see we have our call to action. So click here to get started today. Okay. <clears throat> Aside from that, go to URL for this. I'm just going to put in unbounce, you know, normally it'd be my referral link or something like that. If you were doing something similar, this is also important. In my opinion, what you want to do is a new tab or window, especially if you have a video here so that if they click on this, your video can still be playing or they're just not going to completely go out of your page. Okay. At least they can come back to it and check it out if they need to. We don't need this anymore. Okay. So this is going to be the bottom as well. Once again, we can delete the notes. Uh, back to top, if you want to keep it there, I'm just going to delete that. And this is going to be an example. Maybe we want to add our logo in. You're going to notice there's not a whole lot going on on our landing page. And that's what you want, all right? You don't need a lot of different, like, look at all these great things I've done, unless it's going to help you accomplish your goal, okay? So what we want to do here is going to be image. Let's drag and drop it, say, right here. I have a couple of images already with my logo. I'm going to do choose. My logo is going to be huge, so I'm just going to do use full size, and we can always just minimize it. By doing that, we're just going to drag it up. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. We're going to move it over. And there we go. And something like that. We can also center it as well, right? The cool thing about this, you'll notice when you center it, that green vertical line is going to be there. So you know exactly where it needs to be. We can also move this in the middle. I'm going to control A for all this. You'll notice how it's moved over to the right. What we can do is we can center that. So if we go to right here, alignment, now we have center. So you can change this around by doing that. Just double click terms and conditions, privacy policy. So if we want to remove this, I'm just going to type in marketing island. Okay. Of course, if you want to link anywhere, let's just say terms and conditions, what we would do is we would go right there. We can scroll up and we want to go to action. Now we can do go to URL just as an example. Uh, disclaimer, don't send your traffic to AOL. They have plenty of it. Okay. Once again, let's just pretend that was a, a terms and conditions, right? We can do new tab or window like that. And that's what a link would look like. All right. So we can also move this up a little in case you feel like the footer is just too much kind of play around with it and we'll go up a little bit more. Okay. So it looks pretty good. This maybe could be moved up a little bit more as well make it a little bit smaller and great. So we're going back up here. So if you wanted to use this section, you can fill in the images, like just like it says the benefits. Uh, and there's going to be one more important part. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay. What I want to do is I'm just going to click on this and what I'm going to do is just do control C and control V. Uh, if you have a Apple computer, whatever copy and paste is on yours, it's just going to create another call to action. So what I'm going to do here is put it right here. Now, the reason for this is because we want it as high as possible. This is going to be the main action. So click here to get started today. We could do a different call to action where it says click here to get discount. Okay. 
And once again, we already have it that it's going to be going to unbounce. That's why I copied and pasted it instead of like just making a new one. Now, if you wanted to make a new one, what you can do is just drag and drop it right here. And this is going to be your button. Obviously, let's delete this. Now, something else to let you know that let's say I added this and I dropped it here. Another thing that you can do instead of just deleting it is do the undo button right here. It makes life a whole lot easier, right? So as you can see, this is going to be the properties. There's going to be effects if you want like drop shadow on it or if you want some type of animation. I'm just going to go with no effect right here. We have the text, we have the family. This is gonna be the underlay color. So this is kind of giving you a quick idea of how you can change some things around it. Like I said previously, I don't wanna spend a lot of time on like the aesthetics and how it looks and so on and so forth. But as you can see, that's going to be our uh, desktop version. Now what we can do is click on mobile right here to make sure it's gonna be mobile optimized. And as you can see, it's not, <laughs> all right? So, so let's change that up a little. So we have this is going to be right there. This is gonna be up a little bit higher. Okay, this is gonna have, obviously have to be much smaller, so let's do that to make sure it looks decent on mobile. And there we go, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And the reason why that banner is a different color, it's just because um, it's like outside the boxes and it's it's not in a good spot is pretty much where we go. So now it looks good that way. So could probably uh, play around with it a little bit more, like maybe if I wanna make this smaller, for example, uh, the, the font or whatever it's going to be there, but I'm just gonna keep it like that. We do have our section there that looks fantastic. This once again, just needs to be a little bit smaller because we made it very big. So when it's on mobile, there we go, something like that. And of course we have this and we can move this up a little. That's gonna be the footer. So we have two calls to action. Now, keep in mind what you can do. Let's go back to desktop. We can save it too, just to show you how to do that. Now, something, if you really wanted to make this even more simple, you can just keep this section. This is the main section right here. And you can delete this too if you want, where it has the extra benefits and maybe this section too, and just have the footer. It's really up to you, okay? So what we also wanna do here is go to goals. And this is gonna be if we have a conversion goal. So. Unbounce can actually track this, which is good. So if you wanna get how many clicks are actually going through on this, this is what we're gonna be looking for. So like if this is an affiliate link, what we can do is track how many people visit it and how many people are clicking. And what you can do is try and optimize to get more clicks out of it, right? So what I'm gonna do here is save, of course. And we've done a lot of things here. I know there's a whole lot more going on with Unbounce, but I am gonna publish it for you right here. Okay, let's just do publish. Great, got it, perfect. Now what I wanna do here is go back to overview here. All right, and so here we are. This is going to be the main published page where we can obviously look at it. Let me do that right now very quickly. All right, so here's the cool thing. As you can see, just about almost everything is above the fold. I'd say this right here is like a little bit cut off. So it depends on how big the user screen is gonna be, but just to maybe increase that and make it a little bit better, could probably move this up just a little bit more just to kind of ensure a higher chance of someone landing on your page and them seeing exactly what you need to do. Like right now, if I do that, if that's where the headline was, you can see this is gonna be the main feature right here. The main focus is that they're gonna watch, they're gonna see the headline, it's gonna entice them, they're gonna watch the video, and of course they can click there to take the action. You can do this with anything. And this is what makes it so powerful because it's only focusing on this. It's not like a website where there's gonna be an advertisement, a menu, a drop down, a contact us, uh, you know, a something else, a get a free gift. This is the one main focus here. And everything else is going to bolster that, all right? We talked about getting them to click there. Now we're gonna be talking about obviously some benefits, some things that you can do. And obviously we didn't delete this. This is just gonna kind of be an example. And we have one last call to action in case they made it all the way down. They don't need to scroll back up. It's going to be there for them, okay? So that's an example of that. Now what we wanna do is actually create a new variant. So if we scroll down right here, we can click on create new variant. And what I wanna do is just duplicate an existing variant. So A, let's do create variant. And now from here, what we can do is A, B test for manually split test your traffic across two or more variants. So this one right here, we have our variant. Let's click on edit. So what I wanna do here is go to variant A and I'm just gonna do, let's see right here, create a duplicate again. So now we have C. So we have a few of them, but nevertheless, as long as we know which ones are gonna be which. So in my opinion, the best thing to do here is just changing around the headline because that's like some of the biggest focus. A lot of time it's just rewording what you already have. Like so something as minimal as that is just a little change. So that's something you can split test. We already have the goal there, which is great. So we can do save, we can do republish and got it, let's go back. So that's variant C. We're gonna scroll down here. So let's see, first variant copy two. If we go edit here, 
we're going to notice how the headline has changed just to kind of confirm that we are using the right one. So what we can do is go back over there. And now most importantly, what we want to do is change the weight. You're going to notice how this first variant has 100%. So what that means is that all the traffic is going to be going to this one. So we can click right here. And what we want to do is change this to 50 and then change this to 50. Ideally, that means it's going to split traffic evenly, which is what we're looking for. When we click on confirm, that's what we want. And most importantly, make sure you click on republish right here and republish, excuse me, publish page right here. All right, perfect. So now we actually have this running. What I can do is just, I'm gonna copy this link right here and I'm gonna open it in an incognito window. All right, so this one is unlock your unbounced discount. Let me open it up again. And as you're gonna see, it's gonna be how to get an unbounced discount. Keep in mind, if you go through it, it's not always going to be like this one and that one, this one and that one. You know, it might be this one and then the other one twice and then the other one two or three times, but it will flip flop around, you know, going back and forth. Overall, it will distribute an even amount of traffic. And that's exactly what you're looking for. And I think I'm actually gonna cap off this unbounced landing page tutorial here. So kind of recapping what we went over, showed you how to pick a template. And I think some of the best ones are gonna be the simplest ones that allow you to focus on one goal. Here, the main goal is to obviously click on the button right here, which is the call to action. Then of course, we have our headline. We have a little bit more. We have our main video. And when we scroll down, these are gonna be the things that just add to that main focus that we're looking at, okay? Then of course, we do have a call to action if you're going to include all of that. And then last but not least, what we did was simply uh, talk about doing split testing. When you're doing split testing, one of the biggest things to split test is going to be your headline. That's where pretty much all the eyeballs go because they're always going to see it when they hop onto your page. And that's pretty much going to conclude this unbounced landing page tutorial. I hope you got some value out of this. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't gotten the test out unbounced, I will leave my unique referral link in the description where you can get that unbounced discount. You get the free trial and of course you can save 20% on your first three months. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and happy landing page building.